The Hyperion is one of the best and most enjoyable late game mage weapons. And today I'll be talking about everything I did to acquire it. Let's start off with a bit of context. It was back then, when backpacks would clog your inventory. Crystal Hollows was a distant dream, and dungeon floors didn't have any kata requirements. I was a simple kata 20 scepter mage that used Storm and Necrolord, barely making a few million coins from the health pots. But then I heard about an insane money-making method that would make more than 10 million coins per hour, which was beyond insane back in the day. So I tried to do it, and died. I tried again, but I couldn't beat any of the mini-bosses with just a spirit scepter. And then I realized, I needed a better weapon. Now there were two weapons I could go for, the Midas Staff or the Hyperion, but they costed a lot of coins. So I started grinding F5 for hours every day, without any real plan. One day, I saw a video by Null Z talking about how he was gonna go from dirt to Hyperion through a method called age flipping. Now I tried his method, but they never worked for me. I'd make money on one flip, then lose money on another. And then I realized, instead of regular auction flipping, I should try bin flipping which was much safer and easier, but it was extremely slow and made finding flips much harder. Still, I kept flipping every day until I ran out of coins to flip with. One day, I was scrolling through the NEU auction house when I noticed something. Some pets were being sold with extreme margins. Let me explain. Let's say you look for pets with a specific level range you'd see that some pets had absolutely brutal margins and nobody was talking about it. So I had done it. I had found a flip with almost zero competition and infinite profits. So I was flipping pets every day and slowly started making tens of millions without any issue. I was flipping constantly every single day, but then an issue arose, the auction limit. I was only allowed to auction 14 items at a time and the pets took a decent bit of time to sell so I'd have hundreds of millions in my purse with no use. But why didn't you just flip expensive items? Well, because the margins were low and the risks were high. I could buy an item for 90 mil and resell it for 100 mil or I could buy an item for 7 mil and resell it for 10 mil and I couldn't trust myself with the money. So I spent it on better dungeon gear and started to auction flip in two bursts at 6 a.m. an hour before my online classes started and at 9 p.m. as my screen time was limited back then. I'd also do dungeons at around 2 p.m. but I didn't really make a lot of coins from it. At least not yet. Add time. Son, what is that awful smell coming from your room? Not then. You haven't washed your blanket for over a year, haven't you? Oh yeah, blanket. Don't come back until you've washed it. Money. Do you guys wash blankets? Money, money, money. But I don't have any money. Money, money. What will I do now? Channel memberships. Channel memberships? For as little as 99 cents, you can become a channel member and get awesome perks like this badge, which is a hot dog or something, beside your name. You can get any plan you want. Just don't get this one. It's a huge waste of money. Ad over. One day, the admins released an update that changed everything. It completely flipped the dungeon meta, but it also affected my money-making method. It was the infamous Voidloom Slayer update. The Juju short bow had just come out, and the hours of dungeons I did finally paid off. I had over 20,000 Dragon Essence, and I burned almost all of it, and starred a metric ton of Juju short bows, making a boatload of cash. And then I realized, just adding basic enchants and a recomb would increase my profits even more. So I did. The Juju was still a great flip, 
but I found something. It was a money-making method I had discovered, but now on steroids. Skeleton pet flipping. People were selling their high-level epic skeletons for dirt cheap. And if I were to upgrade one at CAT for basically nothing, I'd be quadrupling my coins with zero effort. So I did. I'd buy a ton of epic skeletons and even rares. Then I'd upgrade them and sell them for absolute brutal margins. After selling a few skeletons, I noticed something. A handle was going for 385 mil. And let me tell you, even back then, a 385 mil handle was dirt cheap. Now all I had to do was auction a bunch of stuff and buy the handle. What could go wrong? I knew it was a golden opportunity and had to act quickly. And the only way to sell items quickly was auctioning them. So I threw them into the auction house for two hours and people started bidding. The number kept going higher and higher until it didn't. All of the items were going for less than the lowest bin, by a lot. The Midas stuff I had bought for 112 mil was going for 80. My semi-max storm set was going for 20 mil less than the lowest bin, for a clean one. I even did the thing everyone hates. I advertised my auctions everywhere, but it didn't help. And with a heavy heart, I had to accept it. I claimed my auctions. I was barely able to get a Necron handle for 385 mil, which was around 20 mil less than the next handle. So I could say it was a tale of greed. And the fact that I lost coins to any age flipper makes this tale ironic. But who cares? Now I can do this. If you watched the video up to this point, I sincerely thank you. If you want to watch more videos like this, click the button on the left. If you want to continue watching my video, click the button on the right. And don't forget to leave a comment as I read all comments.